I'm Nikhil Kansal. I'm the Chief of the Division of Vascular and Endovascular Surgery. I'm also the Director of Vascular Surgery Services for the Stewart Healthcare Network. The Division of Vascular Surgery at St. Elizabeth's Hospital is a comprehensive group of physicians, physician extenders, mid-levels and administrators, as well as vascular lab technicians that enable us to take care of patients with any type of vascular disease. Our team consists of vascular surgeons who essentially run the day-to-day -day care of patients, whether it be in the clinic or in the operating room. But in addition to that, we have a nurse practitioner that interacts with patients really on the clinic side of things and also runs our cosmetic vein center. We have a physician's assistant who helps us and assists with our interventional or our minimally invasive vascular surgery procedures. And then we have our own outpatient vascular lab with two of the finest vascular lab technicians that I think we have uh, in this part of New England. That enables us to diagnose patients in a minimally invasive fashion and deliver care very quickly. The conditions we treat really run the gamut of all the vascular surgery diseases, but essentially involve any complex aneurysms, either occurring in the chest or the abdomen, uh, blockages in the carotid artery and the neck, which can cause stroke, as well as blockages in the arteries that lead to the legs, which can lead to cramping and pain with walking, or can actually lead to, to gangrene of the toes, as can commonly be seen in diabetic patients. Uh, in addition to that, and we consider that the more serious arterial nature uh, disease process, we take care of some other things, such as varicose veins and swollen legs. Not only can we do minimally invasive aneurysm repair, but we can do it um, just through small holes in the artery that don't require an incision and don't require general anesthesia. Uh, that in conjunction with another one of our efforts, which is treating ruptured aortic aneurysms, which is a significantly life-threatening condition, treating those with a minimally invasive approach. When we marry the two of them, we're able to treat patients who are very, very sick in a minimally invasive way that does not require general anesthesia. And that's very important in these critically ill patients. So recently we had a gentleman who, who came to our hospital with a ruptured aneurysm. The chance of him surviving that was probably about 50%. Uh, and utilizing these techniques, what we were able to do without using general anesthesia, using these, these uh, minimally invasive access options that we have, we were able to fix his aneurysm within 90 minutes of him coming to our hospital. To see everyone working in such harmony and, and to get what is an outstanding outcome really felt good.